it's me Erica. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, kung may best of 2017, of course may worst of 2017. So these are the products that didn't work out for me whatsoever. Little disclaimer, if these items work out for you, then good for you. Keep on using them. But for me, I didn't like them. So, nasa preference yan, and nasa skin type yan, nasa skin chemicals yan. So, yung hindi ko gusto, paka gusto nyo. What might not work for me may work for you. So, yeah. So, if you want to see which products I didn't like, I didn't care for this year, then please keep on watching. So, the very first product didn't work out of for me is this. This is a sponge from Daiso. Nasa lalagyan pa to because this is my second one. Don't miss, don't be mistaken by that. 88 pesos lang to and I grabbed two kasi laging wala ito and naisip ko, ay baka maganda to and kumuha ko ng dalawa not knowing na hindi ko siya magugustuhan. This sponge is so hard. Pag binasa mo siya, lalaki siya. But it's still so hard. It is so hard and so harsh on the face na kapag dinadab mo siyang ganyan, naririnig mo yung tunog. And this soaks up the product so much. I mean, a regular beauty blender, the original beauty blender does that as well. It soaks up product, but not as much as this. This soaks up product so much na yes, makakatipid ka kasi 88 pesos lang siya compared sa beauty blender. But yung gagastusin mo namang amount ng foundation, mas mabuti pang mag-invest ka na lang sa beauty blender or kahit sa sponge ng Real Techniques, si Miracle Complexion Sponge. Kahit dyan ka lang sa dalawa, okay ka na. Kasi this just soaks up product so much and mas gagastos ka sa foundation. Sobrang daming pumps mong kailangan compared kung gagamit ka ng beauty blender or ng Miracle Complexion Sponge. And it's just so harsh on the face. I mean, sobrang hard niya sa face. Just going to pass on this, yung mga eight, yung 88 pesos na bibilin mo, just save it up and get a real technique sponge or the original beauty blender. Mas makaka tipid ka pa doon kasi matagal mo silang magagamit and yung foundation mo hindi niya iso soak up as much as this one will do. The next item is this pink sugar concealer. This, ito, alam ko, merong mga YouTubers na gusto to, but me, I really don't care for for this. First of all, yes, it is full coverage. Kung full coverage concealer, this is it. The issue I have with this is that Ang hirap niyang i-blend. It's so hard to work with. Sobrang bilis niya nagda-dry na parang ka-apply mo, parang aabutin mo pa lang yung sponge, nagda-dry na siya ng dry na siya agad. And so kapag i-blend mo na siya, sobrang hirap niyang i-blend. Yes, it is full coverage, but sobrang hirap niyang i-blend. And then nagsi-settle siya sa lines ko. And parang gumagawa pa siya ng lines na hindi ko alam kung saan galing. I mean, I'm just 19 and sobrang emphasize ng lines ko dito. And then sobrang drying niya sa under eye. I mean, gumagamit ako nung Garnier na, alam niyo yung roll-on na ipapahid mo sa mata mo para mabawasan yung um, darkness and everything na parang nagmo-moisturize din siya ng eye mo. I'm using that. Nagmo-moisturize pa ako ng skin ko. This just made it look so dry and I hated how it sits right on my face. Siguro kapag hinaluan ko to ng oil or something para lang mag lighten yung texture, pwedeng mag work sa akin. But as on its own, no. Mas, you know, I have my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer na high coverage, full coverage din yun. Madaling i-blend, hindi siya nagkikrease, hindi siya nagsisettle sa lines ko, hindi mukhang dry yung under eyes ko. So, I would buy that instead of this. This just makes my under eye look like it's the Sahara Desert dry. It settles on the lines. It's so hard to work with and to blend. So, 
yun, just get the Catrice Camouflage Concealer or the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer or the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. You'll be better off with those concealers than with this. But if this works for you, then good for you. It just didn't really work out for me. And I'm going to pass on to this and I'm just not going to repurchase this. So next item is actually a mascara. This is the Careline mascara. It's it comes in this blue tube. I know iba iba yung colors nito. I just picked the blue one. And I hate this. This is the product that among all of this, I despise the most. I use this on my 500 peso makeup challenge, which I will link down below. And yung naging issue ko dito is that. The formula is so wet. Sobrang basa ng formula niya. And the wand is like really flimsy. The formulation is like so wet na, you know, you will curl your lashes and then i-apply mo yung mascara, diba? And my mascara, just like bumababa lang siya ng bumababa nung ginamit ko to. And then I would curl it with my eyelash curler and then bababa lang siya ulit. And the formulation is so wet na kapag ina-apply mo siya sa lashes mo, goodness, nagta-transfer siya kahit saan. I had a hard time using this kasi kung saan-saan nagta-transfer yung mascara. It's either dito or dito kasi ang tagal niyang mag-dry. Sobrang wet ng formula and sobrang tagal mag-dry sa lashes nung mascara and I just hate it and it did nothing to my lashes. It did nothing. Walang volumizing. It is not volumizing. It's not lengthening. It did not do anything at all for my lashes. I mean, yes, it is affordable but wala siyang gagawin sa lashes mo. Idudrop down niya lang yung lashes mo. Babasain niya lang. Buti pang naglagay na lang kayo ng tubig sa so, eyelashes niyo kesa ginamit niyo to. I mean, it's just, this is a hard pass for me. I'd rather invest on the Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara than to use this dang mascara. This is just a no-no. This is just a pass. Never going to purchase this again. Never going to use this again. Not going to recommend this. This product, I just don't like it as well. This is the Maybelline Hyper Ink. Um, liner, liquid liner. So, ito yung may cushion na tip. See, ayaw na niyang mabukas ngayon. You know. But, this comes in a cushion tip. Gusto ko mang ipakita sa inyo. Ayun. There. Nabukas ko siya. Ayan, meron siyang cushion tip. And, I don't even wanna swatch this. This is glossy. Hindi siya matte. So this will this is just glossy. First in yung ayo ko sobrang glossy niya. Second, yes, it is matte, but the formulation is a no no. Although maganda yung hindi mo na kailangan maghirap magtanggal kasi tubig lang. So parang natatanggal siya ng specks. I think that is called tubing. I I'm not sure about the term, but it's a pro on this. The issue is that it is too glossy. And then, kung napanood nyo yung best friends do my makeup challenge, ginamit to ni Diana, yung isa kong friend, sa eye ko. And nagdikit yung eye ko. It was so scary kasi sobrang wet nito na, oh my gosh, nagdikit yung mata ko. Kung, I will link the video down below para mapanood nyo, para makita nyo kung ano yung nangyari. But nagdikit yung lashes ko. I mean, nagdikit yung upper and yung lids ko. And it was so scary. And I really didn't like this. The formulation is just so bad. I mean, maybe some YouTubers love this. But me, I personally don't. Pinagdikit niya yung lids ko. And ang pangit niyang tignan. Ang tagal niyang matuyo. I just, I just don't like it. I mean, maraming Maybelline eyeliners dyan na much better dito. So, kung ako sa inyo, yun na lang, dun na lang kayo mag-invest. But this one, uh, this is not 
this is a no go no go just get the other like the red one hyper sharp i think that it was a hyper sharp the one with the red cap and the one with the violet cap those are amazing this just just pass on to this please but if it works for you then great it just it just didn't do much for me so next is this nichido eye pencil the issue that i have with this one this is a nude one is that it does nothing Hindi niya nalalain yung waterline ko to the point na ginaganyan ko siya and then wala pa din and it hurts my water way waterline so bad na magtitiri eyed na ako trying to get something out of this dang pencil and it's not working and yes it's cheap and pagka swatch mo maganda naman siya but when you try to put it on your waterline, nothing comes out. Yes, a nude liner siya, pero kahit nude liner siya, usually naman may makikita ka. This didn't do anything at all. Ang hirap, ang hirap i-draw nung product sa mata. So, it's a no-no. Delicate area yung eyes, so we cannot really be that harsh and this is just a no-go again. I have two lipsticks to talk about. First, ito, ginamit ko din siya dun sa 500 peso makeup challenge ko. This is the Ido lipstick in the shade A. So, ang shades nito, A, letters A, B, C, D, E, F, I believe. And then, yan yung color niya. So, mukha siya maganda and it works well. The issue that I have with this is that this is so glittery it emphasizes the lines on my lips i could not use it on a daily basis and um it does not last really well although it is a lipstick given that that was 59 pesos lang siya so what do you expect out of this so not really that much i mean i do not hate it as much as other products here but for me it's just a disappointing product. I expected more and the color selection is just nah. I don't like the color selections on this. And I just I just didn't care for this lipstick that much. After that challenge, I didn't use it. And yeah, this is just a pass for me. Kung hahanap kayo na lipstick na maganda talaga yung formulation and maglalas kahit pa paano sa lips niyo, then go for the Maybelline ones or go for the Ever Belena lipsticks. Another one is this Miniso lipstick. It is a two-toned lipstick. Ang ganda niyang tignan, ba? Ang ganda niyang tignan. The issue that I have with this is that you barely see the lighter shade. Can you see that? You can barely see the lighter shade even on your lip. This color is way too light than that one. And it gives you the like an unnatural gradient look. I mean, it does not look so good when you wear this. Hindi siya mukhang natural na nag-gradient lips mo. Parang, alam mo yung pinilit mong mag-gradient. I mean, because the colors have like great contrast in them. Masyadong, it's not really a lighter shade of that. It is like super pale na hindi siya nag appear sa lips ko. Na yung color na nag appear lang sa lips ko is the darker shade. It feels nice on the lips and it's a regular like balmy type of lipstick. But, you know, the color... The matching of colors just didn't work out. Well, the biggest item on this one is the Too Faced Grand Hotel Cafe. Ito yung last item dito sa dislikes ko. It comes in like a housing packaging. You open it up and you have three palettes right here. You have three different palettes na pwede mong ipamigay. I got, this is from their 2016 collection. Christmas collection, you have three palettes. You have a blush here, and then more of your pinkier to tones. <laughs> uh. And then you have the Egnoglate, and you have another blush, and then you have six shades again. And then finally, you have the Gingerbread Man, you have a bronzer, and then 
six shadows. The blushes in the bronzers are good. They are fairly good. They didn't have issues with them. The things that I had issue with. So let's start with the gingerbread cookie. The shades I had issue with was Winter, Winter's Dream and Gingerbread. The mattes on all these palettes are good. The shimmers are the issue. Alam niyo yung shimmer na kapag pipikit kayo and then bubuksan niyo yung mata mo nagta-transfer yun, yun yung tamang term nagta-transfer yung shimmers nila and can you just see? they're just like sparkles that fly off everywhere they're like just sparkles that fly off everywhere they do not stick on your eyes, even with an eye primer, a glitter primer would fix it. But I mean, it's the same issue for the peppermint mocha palette. The um, Christmas blend one doesn't really show up on my eyes. And on the eggnog latte one, cold brew doesn't look well, doesn't look good as well. Can you see that? Parang nakapatong lang yung glitters sa kanila. Yung mattes magaganda. Yung satins magaganda. The shimmers are the ones that let this palette down big time. Kasi when I saw this palette, nagustuhan ko yung color selection. Nagustuhan ko yung itsura ng shimmers. But when I had it and when I tried to use it several times and the only time na mag-work siya is with a glitter primer and hindi naman lahat may glitter primer and dagdag step pa yon you use a regular base and then kailangan pang mag glitter primer para lang mag stick yung shadows na to even with a glitter primer may fall out pa din and nagta like, transfer pa rin siya and for the price of this palette it's a no no i mean just a no no just get the um two faced chocolate bar palette i just hated the shimmers on this but i still use this palette for the mattes the blush and the bronzer but the shimmer shades really i didn't care for so that's it for this video guys a giveaway is still running on my channel so if you want to check that out i will link that down below in the description box for you to join and i hope you like this video give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy seeing these types of videos and click that subscribe button down below to be a part of my family thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye guys